Hi, I want to talk about the logistic equation with harvesting. We've seen the logistic growth equation before. It's shown right here. It has two parameters, R, positive parameter, which is the intrinsic growth rate, and K, a positive parameter, which is the carrying capacity. We're going to add a term here, which is describing harvesting. Because it's reducing the population size, we have a minus sign here. H is a harvesting rate, it's a positive parameter, and it's multiplying n, and this is a rate at which individuals are removed from the population by harvesting. And so we might ask ourselves, is there a level of harvesting which will be too high and drive the population to local extinction? What is that critical level of harvesting? We're going to look at that. And the way we're going to do that is to construct a phase plot and then draw solutions as a function of time. And then finally, analyze the stability of the equilibria. And so let's start by looking at equilibria. We're going to call this our function g of n. And so for an equilibrium, we have 0 is equal to g of n hat, which will be equal to r n hat, 1 minus n hat over k, minus h n hat. And let's pull out the common factor, which is n hat. And then we're left with r minus r n hat over k minus h. And if this quantity is 0, then either n hat is 0 or the quantity in the brackets is 0. And so the first possibility is n hat is equal to n 1 hat, which is equal to 0. The other is n hat is equal to n 2 hat, where r minus r n 2 hat over k minus h equals 0. So let's solve this equation for n 2 hat. That would tell us that r n 2 hat over k is equal to r minus h. And now we're going to divide through by r over k, or equivalently multiply through by k over r. And that'll give us n 2 hat is equal to k into r minus h over r, which is equal to k into 1 minus h over r. That's our second value for the equilibrium. You know what's really interesting here, though, is that this could be positive or negative. It's going to be less than 0 if h bigger than r, and it's going to be greater than 0 if h is less than r. And so if h is bigger than r, what it means is that the harvesting rate is bigger than the intrinsic growth rate, and we lose this equilibrium here. If h is less than r, it means that the harvesting rate is less than the intrinsic growth rate, and we have this positive equilibrium here. So let's draw out the dynamics g. And so g is dn dt. And so when we draw it out here, we're plotting g on the vertical axis, and uh, we're plotting n on the horizontal axis. And so this is a parabola. And it's much like the parabola for logistic growth. And so it's kind of got a sad face look to it. And it goes through the two equilibria, 0 and n2 hat. And now we're assuming that h is less than r. So for, for these diagrams here, we're going to assume h is less than r. And so in this scenario, if we start off with a value of n, which is less than n to hat, we're going to move to the right. And if we start off with a value of n that's uh, larger than n to hat, we'll move to the left. So if we put n to hat in here as the equilibrium value under harvesting, then if we start off below, we're going to have growth up towards that value of n to hat. And if we start off above, we'll decay down towards it. And so the dynamics are very similar to logistic growth. 
But here we've got this new equilibrium, which is an equilibrium level under harvesting. It's a positive value. In the second scenario, which we're going to look at over here, we have H is bigger than R, and so our harvesting rate exceeds the intrinsic growth rate. And in that case, we're going to have that our second equilibrium, N2 hat, is negative. And uh, we're only interested in non-negative population values because uh, populations can only achieve non-negative values. And so our parabola is going to look like this. The part that's positive is just going to decline like this. And we're only going to have our zero equilibrium. And so a population that starts off anywhere that's uh, positive is going to decline towards zero. And so if we were to plot that out here, we start off with a population here, and it'll just decline towards zero as t gets large. And so we've constructed a phase plot, and we've drawn sample solutions as a function of time. Let's now talk about the stability of the equilibria here. And recall the stability condition. So we need to evaluate g prime of n hat. And if it's less than 0, n hat is stable. And if uh, g prime of n hat is greater than 0, n hat is unstable. So we're going to use these stability conditions, and we're going to plug in the values of n hat that we've already calculated. OK, let's evaluate the stability condition. We have our function g here, logistic growth and harvesting. And we want to calculate g prime. And so it's going to help to write this out as r minus h times n minus r n squared over k. And when we take the derivative now, we can take the derivative term wise, and so this is going to be r minus h minus 2r n over k. Now, for the stability condition, we want to substitute in the values for n hat. And so there's two possible values, n1 and n2. So let's consider n1 is equal to 0, and we have g prime of 0 is going to be r minus h. And then the, we're, the next term is going to be 0. So that's all we have for that. And so in this case, we're going to have greater than 0 if, r, uh, if uh, h is less than r. And it's going to be less than 0 if h is greater than r. And so in the case where h is less than r, it's going to be unstable according to the stability condition. And when h is greater than r, it's going to be stable. And so what does that mean? Well, when we look at the h as less than r here, we're in this scenario right here, and it says that 0 is unstable. So we can put a u there. And when h is bigger than r, it says that 0 is stable. And this is consistent with what the arrows are showing, because we're moving away from 0 when we start close to 0 here, so it's unstable. And we're moving towards 0 when we start close to 0 here, so it's stable. Let's look at the other equilibrium. n2 is equal to k into 1 minus h over r. Now we want to plug that into g prime. And so we have g prime of n2 hat. And that's going to be r minus h minus 2r over k times k into 1 minus h over r. And notice right away that we have a little bit of cancellation here. The k's cancel. And so this will be equal to r minus h. And then we're going to have minus 2r. 
and then we're going to have plus 2r times h over r, which is plus 2h. And so this is going to be equal to h minus r. And so this is going to be less than 0 if h is less than r, and it's going to be greater than 0 if h is greater than r. And so if the g prime evaluated at the equilibrium is less than 0, that'll be stable. And if it's greater than 0, it'll be unstable. OK, so the case we're interested in here, though, is the one where h is less than r, which is this one right here. And it says the equilibrium here is stable. The second case, where h is greater than r, we're not interested in the equilibrium n2 hat because it's a negative equilibrium. So we don't consider this case here. And so we can see that the population grows away from the zero equilibrium towards this positive equilibrium. And the phase diagrams show the direction of the arrows. But we can also evaluate the stability using the stability conditions. And stability conditions say that zero is an unstable equilibrium. And n2 hat's a stable equilibrium here. And the stability condition says that zero is a stable equilibrium, in this case over here. And so what we can see is that both the phase diagram, uh, or phase plot I should call it, and the stability conditions give identical results with respect to stability. And we could use one or the other to look at stability. And it's nice to see them kind of come together and both give the same result in this example here. What's unusual about this example is that this is an example with three parameters. The growth, intrinsic growth rate R, the carrying capacity k, and the harvesting rate h. This makes it a very general model. So the thing about having the three parameters is we can consider a variety of different populations and different harvesting rates, and we can see how the harvesting rates impact the uh, stability of the equilibrium.